This is Vice Admiral Rumley, commander of the Vega Sector fleet. At ease. We are now deploying the new F-103 Excalibur fighters to the front lines, of which several squadrons have recently entered service. The Hermes received a reinforced squadron of the Excaliburs, the new 912th Space Superiority Squadron, the Galahan. General Taggart's operation just concluded in the Alcor system. Declassified details, sent to every carrier in the fleet, indicate that the Victory just rescued a Dr. Severin, a demolitions expert whose knowledge is applicable to a second Confederation Doomsday project. Our next plans are to lay the groundwork for the deployment of this weapon. The failure of the Behemoth has illustrated that we can't expect to employ a strategic weapon without first clearing the path of hostiles. Therefore, before we deploy this new doomsday weapon, Command has ordered that several systems along the front be securely in Confederation hands before operations proceed. That means the chances of successfully deploying this new weapon dramatically increase with each kill roughly we eliminate. For the time being, I have chosen the Hermes as my flagship for the upcoming campaign and transferred additional personnel, fighter squadrons and warships into this battle group. We will immediately commence operations in the Hyperion system, a significant Kilrathi stronghold on the Terran Kilrathi border that is a major hub for their jump traffic. Meanwhile, our other carriers will invade Freya in a similar operation. Yes, sir. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Saga. My name is Burning Earth Chris, and I'm going to be your pilot tonight. So, yes. We are now part of the Galahads, and we get to fly the Excalibur Superfighter. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who are Wing Commander 3 savvy, you know that this is very good news. And for those of you who aren't, well, you'll get to see the Excaliburs in action. Don't you worry. Welcome to the Galahad Squadron. I'm your new squadron leader, Lieutenant Colonel Jones, call sign Venom. Some of you know me as the ONI officer from the scout, Jim Bowie. Oh. I have a very simple Hi. chain of command here. I take orders directly from the Admiral, and you take orders directly from me. Viking, Phalanx, Ninja, Avatar, Ice Fire, Psychopath, Sandman, Assassin, Twilight, Grey Wolf, Problem Child. I'm sure you're well acquainted with your fellow wingmen. I personally requested all of you to transfer into my new squadron. I picked you because I can trust each of you to watch my back. Don't take this lightly. As in my previous line of work, trust is no small matter. <laughs> We're about to jump into the Hyperion system, but first there's a little house cleaning in order. Our new Excaliburs are jump capable, so we're able to jump into the system without risking any of the task force. There we are to sweep the immediate area and clear it of enemy units. I'm taking in Sandman, Psychopath, and Grey Wolf as Alpha Flight. We'll need to take and hold the jump point until our destroyers arrive to secure it. Then we'll immediately make an advanced three-point sweep of the quadrant to eliminate any welcoming parties the cats have for us. The remaining Galahads, Sans Ninja, your fighter apparently has a bug running through the nav system, will sit in as Alert 5, defend the Hermes if this little intrusion gets out of hand. Let's show those cats what the Excalibur fighter can do. We are the best of the best, and those cats are going to find out the hard way. All right, so... Jump into Hyperion, secure the jump point, and make way for the destroyers. Sweep the immediate area and clear it of enemy units, and proceed to each nav point and destroy the enemy forces. So the Excalibur fighter, um, it is a super fighter, as I mentioned, as I may have mentioned before. Um, it has six missiles, so um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. And it also has my favorite gun in Wing Commander, the Tachyon cannon. It also has this really badass Reaper cannon too, which is like um the arrows ion laser, but it fires at least six times faster, so that's really really cool. Alright, let's rock and roll. Colonel Jones, you and your wing are cleared for launch. Show them all how good our new Excaliburs are. Holy crap, we got a huge fleet here. The 
the spider handles better than a Hellcat. Man could get used to this. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Now let's focus. Oh. I'm expecting a warm welcome on the other side, Galahad. Traffic's all clear to the Hyperion jump point. For you, Sweeney, a warm welcome is a given. <laughs> Set course to the jump point. Proceed to next waypoint point. Yeah, Venom's all business. I get that, though. Alright, Alpha Flight, form on the jump buoy and power up jump engine. Signal from signal outpost. She's calling for reinforcements. What's our orders, Colonel? Liquidate everything. Roger that. Oh, that's right. Okay. I forgot about that. Uh, the Excalibur has auto tracking turrets, so um, the guns will actually follow the aim sight. So that's really, really cool. And guess what else it has? That's right. Glide. <laughs> oh, I missed this spider. Alright, where am I going next? There. Yeah, right. You're the little bastard. Bye. Where are you at? There you are. Seven kills already. Not bad. Off these sentry guns here. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. There go the sentry guns. Now for the fun stuff.
Aw, oh, man, I was so hoping that torpedo would hit the destroyer, but I guess not. Oh, yeah, well. All ships ramming speed. Look at how much damage this tachyon gun is doing all by itself. There it goes. Alright, let me take care of some of these fighters. I guess that's all the fighters then. <laughs> okay, let's take out these destroyers. Okay, that works. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to spend all day taking that thing down. Bye! Good. I have to admit that was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thanks, Venom. I really like Vice Admiral Rumley's voice. There's like, it's calm but with a hint of authority behind it.
foot. Okay. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Yeah, this battle can get a little long. <laughs> See if I can take. We'll never know what hit. Let me see if I can soften up the inside of the star base here. No, I guess not. Okay. There goes the last enemy capital ship. Whoa. I'm out. Boom! Whew, okay. This is where the real mission begins. <laughs> Heads up, people, we have unfriendlies inbound. Not to sound like an educated asshole or anything, but you could have just said hostiles. <laughs> Oof. Avatar, what are you talking about, psychopath? Oh, apparently, I have three friend foe missiles. I didn't even realize that. Proceed to next waypoint. 
I haven't even used a single missile almost this entire playthrough. That's pretty cool. Excuse me. Heads up, people. We have unfriendlies inbound. Yeah, we get to tangle with this guy for the next few missions, Death Fang. Probably the second deadliest kill Roth the Ace out there aside from uh, Prince Thrakath. Oh, I got a good couple of shots on that guy. Uh -oh. All we really have to do. All we have to really do is take out on um, Death Fang's cronies, and then he'll try to bugger out. I'm gonna try to land a few shots on him myself, though. <laughs> he made a big mistake to let him get away like that. Well, Captain, we're not in good enough shape to chase him into whatever backup he's retreating to. Proceed to next waypoint. Don't worry. Like I said, we'll meet him later. <laughs> This is a long one. Colonel Jones, Captain requests your report. We nailed a few picket vessels and a swarm of fighters. We also tangled with some Imperial Guard fighters. The Ace Death Bank held their reins. Really? How did our new Excaliburs fare? Galahad's four, Drukai Imperial Guard, zip. Death Bank bucked the hell out when the odds were turned. Hmm. I'll forward that on up to Captain Moran. Nice work, Alpha Wing. By far the warmest welcome to an enemy controlled system I've ever had. Thanks, sweetie. You have clearance for landing. Great job out there, people. Not only did we get to put the new Excalibur through some extensive combat, we also took down quite a few of their Imperial Drakai pilots. These guys are the best, piloting their best hardware. Another perfect example that the matter of victory isn't in the machine, it's the man who pilots it. We fought the Vaktoth Ace Deathfang today. What you already know is that he's a highly dangerous pilot, Imperial Guard commander, and power-hungry egocentric. What you don't know is that me and him go way back. I've got many reasons, most of it personal, to see him vented into space. Stick with me, listen to what I say, and we'll take him down. We'll be seeing more of him in the future, trust me on this. We've established a foothold into the Hyperion system. The Langley, Ticonderoga, and the 5th Marine Division will stand by till further notice. So for now, we'll be doing the disinfecting of this system. 
It's going to be intense for the next few days, so I want everyone on their toes. Once more, well done, gentlemen. Dismissed. Thank you. As expected, we've got incoming. Our sensors have detected a dreadnought, three carriers, and 40 warships that have broken orbit from Hyperion 6 and are heading our way. They've already launched the first strike wave. We have every reason to believe that they carry a large contingent of Drakai Imperial Guard. The other squadrons are forming a deep line of defense around the task force. Our squadron will deploy in elements of two and work independently to engage incoming enemy strike teams, lending assistance to other units if the need arises. Sandman and I will be Alpha Flight. We will launch from the Hermes and sweep the area around Nav 1, 2, 3, and 4, assisting any friendly forces and intercepting hostile craft. Our route will take us back to the Hermes. Other elements' orders are as follows. Bravo Wing, you will be... Alright, scout the system for enemy ships, assess friendly forces, and destroy any hostiles you encounter. Sure thing, Obi Wan Kenobi. <clears throat> need some help, fellas? Hmm. I think they're the ones who need the help. But I'll let you play if you want. Woohoo! I've already got five kills in this thing so far <laughs> in this mission. Bombers. Think they can just slip by unnoticed, huh? Let's show them they've got to do better. Ten four. Roger that. Let's take care of this frigate. Right, she's alive. <laughs> Too often I forget that I can actually glide in this thing again. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, great. That's just fucking perfect. Oof. Assholes. There goes the frigate. Shields recharge. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes! Right as he was cloaking, too. Perfect. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy. Yeah. Whew. I have to admit that was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thanks. Let's hey. continue with our mission. That course for Nav 4 and engage autopilot. Yep, there you secure. Proceed to next waypoint. Sandman. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, we got well, a light cruiser here. Give the Galahads themselves. Why don't you give us a hand, eh, hot shot? One day, Hitchy, that mouth is going to get a missile shoved down it. I bet on it being friendly fire. I do kind of have to wonder where he got the name White Trash from, but then again, I'm not sure if I want to know. Oh, okay, it is moving.
Five, four, three, two, one. I just want to point out that White Trash's wingman had a call sign named Trekkie, and I happen to be a huge Trekkie too, so <laughs> I appreciate that little nod. Uh oh. We've got enemy fighters and bombers Whoa! To our holy area. shit! This is Hell's Archer Squadron. We're breaking formation to engage. Hey, that's our job. Sandman, break an attack. Roger that. Holy shit, where do they all come from? Eh. Fuck it, I'll go for the bombers first. Excuse me, gents. How did they get there? Alright. Well, let's take them out. Almost out of shields. These guys come from. Holy fuck. There's a lot of them too. Alright, good. At least it's all the bombers now. Sir? I'll wait till I see the gun camera footage first. <laughs> Galahad Alpha, you have clearance to land. Alrighty. 
As you found out today, the Kilrathi are willing to throw their very best at us to keep us from maintaining a foothold in this system. As the Kilrathi found out today, the very best of the Confederation is here to meet them. And if you're wondering, now is when your pat on the back comes in, Sandman. Sand Each flight functioned like the finely tuned machine it is. Excellent, excellent, men. I've received word that the carrier Armageddon is now in system. All right. You can bet with that kind of backup, our focus will be shifted to strike sorties soon enough. Dismissed. Good to see an old friend. If you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burning earth the effects. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.